Went right for the tomatoes. <laughs> he liked the yellow, and the funny part is that's not, whoa, he's just cleaning the plate. Jolly Green is regular Colombian iguana. You can, um, Colombian iguanas are commonly, got real good bands, got good color, got red. Now the funny part is sometimes they're orange. And some of those orange ones are actually morphs. He loves his bananas. It's actually bananas, his favorite thing. Don't have, he's jolly green just because he's green. But the cool part is, is he's actually really awesome iguana. We've had him for about 10 years. I've really loved him. At one point we had a little problem with him. He had kind of combating with another male. They commonly will look across the room and see another male and bounce their head around. And he rubbed his nose up. But the good news is it is completely back to normal second time in 10 years and uh whoa where are you going where are you going he's like i want my banana oh you got nothing but the skin bro now th this banana is brown because brown bananas have much more vitamins and, and everything in them than the green ones or yellow and uh, so we always from now on are going to let them let them turn the right color because you know what i found out i was feeding bubbles at at a uh, uh, myrtle beach safari and they wouldn't didn't want me to feed them one banana that was green. It was greenish and yellow. They're like, that ain't a good banana. We don't feed those. And I said, well, let me put it in there just for looks. And guess what Bubble did? He ate it. He ate, she, he ate, uh, I mean, she ate everything. But anyway, so we're going to try to make sure. Here, how about green? Do you want some green? Uh oh. I don't think he wants to eat his greens. You want to eat your greens? You just want bananas. Let's see what else. So let's see here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that look good? Oh, so iguanas actually, if you're ever growing one up, they're actually can be very aggressive. Iguanas have very sharp teeth. Most people don't know it. They think of an iguana as very mellow and relaxed, but really honestly, they're kind of not a very good pet to be completely honest. Now, the good news is they can be if you work with them a lot and they, you know, the Jolly Green wasn't any tame when we started, but we fed him a lot by hand and he got used to us. You're not gonna bite my hand, are you? Now that I'm talking about how tame you are. This dewlap is actually used in combating because what males do is they want to look big and tough, kind of like flexing their muscles. Well, that's like his muscles to show off. But what they actually get in the fight, these are the protection for when they're biting each other's face, these little armor plates. And you can actually see he's got a blue tent. So iguanas can come in red, blue, and green. And the blue ones are considered to be anatheristic. They're missing the black, the, the red pigment. It's called, it's actually missing the red pigment. I'm incorrect. And the green ones and the and the red ones are missing the blue pigment. And so you get them together in al albinism, they make this thing called the snow, which is really cool. Do you want a strawberry? He just really wants more bananas. You want, you want, you want to eat a strawberry? He's like, no, I don't eat strawberries. I want bananas. I want other stuff. Let's see if you'll eat this green. Anyway, I just want to help up that. You're going to eat that red after all, aren't you? Can you catch it? Can you catch it if it rolls? Ah. Oh, there you go. Here, there you go. Here, whoa, he found, he found the tomatoes. Let's see, let's see if he'll, he'll play catch. Okay, you ready? You want the tomato? You want the tomato? You want the strawberry? You want the tomato? Whoa, there he goes, he caught that on the roll. Anyway, he's really cool. Jolly Green's really awesome. And uh, they lay eggs. They can lay like 80 or 90 eggs. It's amazing. They're pretty small eggs. They do really well. They're taken over Florida like no other because the, the Florida is like the per perfect place. It's got lots of vegetation, lots of trees, lots of places to live, everything to eat they need. And believe it or not, this guy here will chase down a rodent in a heartbeat. Uh, they have do have a lot of predators, but they have so many babies that the predators can't even phase them. Not even man has been able to phase it, wiping them out. Uh, they are they are considered somewhat protected because they are eaten a lot in foreign countries. They they range from all the way from Mexico all the way down to South America, uh, into South in parts of South America. Uh, they're very unique and uh, they're really cool. They come in with so many beautiful colors, and he's a great great mascot for for an animal like that. And so there they shed every time they shed they come off. Oh 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 look look back there. Now that's a rhino iguana. 